Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to a quick look and gameplay for the free to play Monster Slayer game called Dauntless. So as you know Monster Hunter World is coming out on Steam on the 9th of August. So I thought this might be a good time to check out the free to play Dauntless game which is similar in concept. And this has been out in open beta for about a couple of months. I think it came out towards the end of May. So I had it installed, I haven't played it yet. And so just briefly wanted to tell you how to download the game and discuss the system specs and then I'll go and start up the game and go through the early stages and see how it is. So all you need to do to install this game is go to playdauntless.com, sign up for a free account over here and then download the setup and install the game. The download is about 5 GB and the hard drive space required is about 15 GB, 15 to 20 roughly. So the system requirements we are looking at is fairly reasonable you need for the minimum side of things you need a nvidia 660 ti uh, i5 4gb ram at least and windows 7. on the recommended side they recommend a 970 gtx i7 with 8gb ram and windows 10 obviously so for graphics card these are some of the cards that fit the minimum to the recommended range and i've taken the screenshot from tom's hardware so on the low end side of things you need a GTX 660 Ti, on the AMD side you are looking at an R9 270 roughly and so all your cards like the 950, the 760, the 1050 these would be the minimum. Then you have the 1050 Ti's, the 960's, the R9 280's, the R9 380's would be somewhere in the middle, 770 GTX, 680, 590 and on the more recommended higher side of things you have the 780 Ti, the 970, the RX 480, the RX 580, 570 etc. Obviously the Titan would be overkill, but this would be the perfect range of graphics cards from the low to the recommended side. So if you have any of these, you should be fine. So once the installation is done, you'll see an icon on your desktop as always. Click on this. This is the launcher. So once you enter your password and your email, you'll see this uh, launcher and just click play and uh, it will take you to the game. So I'll do that. And we'll see each other inside the game so here we are in the game uh, let's quickly have a look at the options and then we'll head in full screen display quality low okay I don't know if this is default or should I increase it a bit let's try high if I struggle I'll go back to low okay helmet display filter chat for profanity yes do that e-binding okay let's see Plant their banner B. Mm. Left ship for sprint. Sheath sword is X. Okay, so pretty standard stuff. Obviously, we'll figure out once we start the game. So, yeah, let's start. It does look good. The Shattered Isles. Fractured by Aether and the depredations of savage behemoths feeding on its power. Against their endless hunger stand the Slayers, our last hope. Welcome to Dauntless. To create your Slayer, begin by selecting two ancestors. So, two ancestors. Uh, I don't know. Cora. Now, we are not selecting like a male and a female and ancestors, so you can have two people of the same gender. Uh, Slayer means a blend of two ancestors. You can adjust the slider. Okay. Uh, something like this, I guess. Skin tone. Okay, let's check the skin tone. Uh, sure, okay, I'll be something like this. Okay, hair, hair color. Hair color, I think it's fine, I'm not really bothered. Uh, maybe a bit less brown. 
yeah something like that hairstyles slicked back why have you shaved your sides under oh no 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 what the hell is this feathered fuck okay oh, it's not too bad or crest mm. ponytail actually ponytail haircut apart from the ponytail isn't too bad spiked uh, why have they picked all the footballers hairstyles why don't they have like a normal person hairstyle oh crap look at this <laughs> loose bun loose ponytail dreadlocks undercut dreadlocks i picked <laughs> Oh. I look at the bolt. Look at that agent 47 bolt, and it's not like a normal bolt. Uh, feathered back, yeah, yeah. This is about as normal as it goes. Okay, next eyes, eyes are fine, mouth, nose, yes, yeah, so are fine, head is fine, ears, jaw is fine, extras. Makeup, no thank you. Face paint. Surrealist, crossed, crossed, no sorry, seeing red, survival, almost blue. Uh, yes, yeah, let's leave it. Okay, save the ancestor please. No, I mean save the player. And let's get in and see if we can do something. Yeah, I've never actually played a monster hunter type game. So, and we have never owned a Nintendo, so I've never experienced any of these type of games. So, this will be a new experience and uh, yeah. Although I'm not thinking about getting Monster Hunter World simply because I've read that it's a bit too demanding. And also it's a bit expensive and you know me, low budget and all. So, yeah, uh, this might be a good option if it's good and we'll soon find out. Okay, it's taking a bit of time to load. And okay, there we are. I'm seeing a bit of screen tearing, so I guess the frame rates are fine. Yeah, it looks looks good. It's got a bit of that Sea of Thieves, Fable, those kind of look about it, those sort of games. Take your position, Rook. Listen up. I don't train failures. It's not worth my time. And time is not on our side. There are more behemoths turning up on the frontier every day. And like it or not, you lot are all that stands between them and the good people of Ramsgate. The people who pay me to make sure you know your axe from a hole in the ground. Hold fast back there, people. Just a bit of turbulence. Today's the day you prove you can all be let off the leash. I'm not going to be waiting for you at the drop zone, in case things go wrong. Today you prove you're not just recruits, you're slayers. interesting start um, did it need to be this dramatic I mean the weather looks calm down here I think we did not get hurt or anything
Okay, we have the giant sword. This is the bosun. We can't get to you right now. That storm didn't just blast the hull, it also drained our power. We have to make field repairs and refill the aether traps if we're going to get back to Ramsgate. That's where you come in. We spotted a rogue Nasher on your island. And that rogue should contain more than enough aether to power the ship for our return journey. Rogue, you need... Listen, if you need advice, don't hesitate to call. We'll kick the radio on for you. So, what do we need to do? You landed close to a behemoth recruit. Okay. Strike now, or you'll never get off that island alive. Where is he? You're hurt. Use a healing potion. Um, edge, I suppose. Press I. Supplies, healing. Um. Ah, I quit. Okay, should have figured out the controls first, I guess. Where is my health? Okay, I'm half health. Uh, game. Okay, let's quickly have a look at the options. Controls, key bindings. Dodge, move left, right, primary attack, quick slot, one, reset camera, special ability. Where is the healing potion? I think we have to equip it in a slot and then drink it. Okay. Anyway, so this is the weapons. High supplies. Salvage. Whip. Okay, it worked. It was in one. Okay. Do we have any sort of ranged weapons? Okay. Make sure you can still use your sword arm. Okay. Le okay. Right click is heavy, left click is and with proper timing, you can dodge right through a behemoth attack and escape unscathed. Hmm. So this is the annoying part. How do I jump? Because there's only a dodge roll basically. So this game is all about rolling, rolling on your ass. Get ready for a fight. I mean I can spot that as well. Okay Behemoth, let's do this. Hey, hey. Okay, the problem is I don't need to see the behemoth's health. You've hurt that behemoth and made it flee. Now to track it down and finish this hunt. Okay, how do I do that? Plants, minerals, aether. Gather up what you can and we'll make use of it later. Lance, what is this? Sky bloom. I mean, it looks good. I, I'll, I'll give it that. It does look very nice. The art style is very. There are a lot of games like this, but. I mean, Fortnite is also. What is that? Alright, big guy. Come on. It doesn't charge, does it?
Of course, this is like the tutorial behemoth, so this guy is going to be easy. I think I'm missing all these special attacks. What does this do? I think this charges things. Yeah, I can't see, I think, I don't know if it's selected or not, or they are not supposed to show this, but Mr. Behemoth, I can't see his health. Okay, hang on, let me drink something. No big guy, no big guy, not like this. He looks dizzy, so... Okay, I think we got him. Yeah, the annoying thing was I did not see the health bar. I don't know if it was selected or not or if I was just being blind. Yeah, it's dead. This one's good, yeah? Huh? Huh? Okay, nice intro, I guess. Tutorial boss. Yeah, maybe with the other bosses we might actually see their health bars. But yeah, attack, heavy attack, light attack, heal up, dodge, special attack once you're charged up. Uh, seems quite straightforward. There is a lot of other things to do in the game as well, like uh, crafting armor and things like that so i wanted to see if we can go through that part as well while it's loading come on game don't hang on me you should be seeing the city any minute now on an approach course to ramsgate Ramsgate air, eh? But don't spend too much time enjoying it. Cat needs every slayer to get back in the fight as soon as they're able. Okay, so we are mute. Proven, you're up to the task. Everyone in Ramsgate is looking for her to coordinate the response to this behemoth surge. And that doesn't leave any of us a lot of downtime. She's already gone ahead to the plaza. So meet her there as soon as you can. Off you go then. And keep that chin up. Chin up. Be a full fledged <clears throat> slayer in no time. Full fledged slayer. Just. Okay. New quest available. Okay, so there are quests and things as well. Um, what was I about to say? Ramsgate. Where have we heard of Ramsgate before? I think we have heard of Ramsgate in some other game as well. Let's explore. Yeah, let's do the exploring. What else do we have? Oh yes, this is what we wanted. Okay, so platinum. Ah, oh, this one also has platinum. 
sword weapon skin they had removed all their pay to win uh, microtransactions that was the big deal uh, okay how much stuff do we have anything no we don't have anything zero and how do we get platinum <laughs> Some cool looking stuff, I must admit. This does look nice. Recruit dice, okay. We'll take that because it's free. Yes, please have, let me have some. So we can at least change the color. And what is this? I like the nice hub area they have here. Okay, this is the money part. Supporter pack 940 platinum, 750 plus 190 extra. For thirty-five dollars, sixty dollars, ninety-nine dollars. Uh, too expensive. Boost. Okay. Style, dice, fabrics, sigils. Um. Okay. Emotes. We also have emotes. Supplies. Slayer starter pack, defender pack. Okay. Guild charter. Oh, smog. Armor. I like the British spelling they've used for armor weapons hmm okay it's only skins um how do we get the actual weapon what is this redeem code what a redeem code okay we'll have to figure out how that works okay who is this oh you can change the face if you like yeah, yeah i'm happy with that Take care of yourself. is he the plastic surgeon yeah let's explore this instead of doing something because they have created a nice world here I'm like oh look at this nice I wasn't expecting this sort of open world hub area I like it I like this so we have some practice area maybe to okay we can't pull out the sword here it seems what do we have so Goat is here. Yeah, nobody seems to be in town. Yeah, runs well. Okay, we have other players here. A few of them hanging around here. Yep. These guys have already upgraded. Okay, who is this? Recruits Lantern. Max level reached. Arc and Drew Recruit. What is this? Be sure to log anything unusual. This looks like the main town hall. What do we have here? What's on your mind? Dr. Priyani. Okay, so she's like she'll the behemoths give are out there. Expert on behemoths. Can we go inside? No. Yeah, impressive game. Um, this is a lot better than I was expecting. What the? Oh, it's you. How uh, do you know me? We'll talk more later. Okay, so I think this guy is like a blacksmith or something. Yeah, it is weird not having the jump button in the game. Four breaker. Okay, so this is all the stuff we'll collect and do later on it seems. But I still don't know any of it, so yeah, let's go back. Okay, let's do the quest. We had our quest. Let's do the quest. Go to the exclamation. I think we have to go and talk to that cat woman. Not cat woman, but that cat who is a woman. Uh, okay, exclamation. Where is the exclamation? Yep, over here. Ready for a challenge? Path of the so would you like to meet the weaponsmith? Uh, I think I might have just met him. Anyway, Catherine Sorrel. Okay, yes, do that. I appreciate the save, but now it's time for you to put down the training sword. Speak to Wills Borman at the Borman Smithy. Head past the bosun on left of the stairs until you reach the smith's courtyard. Does you know the clang of hammer? Uh, okay. Go on. Get out of here. Okay, okay. Fine. So we are still in the tutorial part. We are seeing how to get weapons and things like that. 
Yeah, that must be the weapon guy. Weapon smith. Weapon smithy? Hey there. Okay, requires war armor upgrade token. Do I have any? No. No, this is Moira, this is the armor smith. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Where's the weapon guy? Is there a map? No. Not at least for the local area. Okay, let's go up here. And where did they say past? Ah, here. Yeah, this is more appropriate. Ah, a bright light in my humble smithy. Will spawn. Well done, Slayer. Yes. I would like you to meet. I've done that. Weapon of choice. You want work, yes? Yes. Of course. Complete one of the following. Craft recruit sword, craft recruits hammer, craft recruits chain plates. Okay, he is lagging a bit. My friend, you need you need use a training blade no longer. I can forge one of these more advanced designs. So Remember, slave trains in all manner of weapons. You can also say okay. What can we craft for free? That is the question. Can we get this? We have this, right? We had this, right? So this is... Okay, hang on, let's see. So we had this 70 versus all. This is the next level, right? 88. So let's create this. Okay, we have to click on this, it seems. Yeah, this part is a bit laggy for some reason. Okay, we got a sword. Okay, now we need an upgrade token to upgrade it. So what do we have here? Mm, chain blades. Do we want a chain blade? We got the sword. Got this thing, the hammer. Let's get a hammer as well. Okay, got it. I prefer the sword, so we'll equip that. And I think that is it. Weapon of choice. Okay, and done. Graphic was sword, graphic was hammer. One of the following. Okay, so I actually did two of the following. Tools of the trade. Equip your gear in the loadout screen L to ensure you have the most appropriate armor, weapons, lantern, supplies. I to the category of gear you equip. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Have no Can we try it out somewhere? So we still we have a few people, like few players online running around. We have Vane over there, Stevio1580. So there are a few people online. We'll figure that part out once we get a bit further into the game. I like it that they have quests. Obviously, these quests are just simple intro intro quests, I suppose. Not crazy about that we need to go over a few things. Hey there. Furies. There's something you need to do. Hunt rogue strikes. Hunting party. How do I do that? Have that new weapon equipped and ready because you have work to do. The storm we ran into our weekend of roast shrike nesting far too close to the city. Now that you have acquired a focus, uh, hit the hard board, form a team, and take the payment down. Uh, okay, those behemoths won't slay themselves. Okay, she still has something else she wants. There's a to. storm brewing. Can you visit the boson and see what supplies he can offer? Um, okay. Okay. So the hunting party. Okay. There you are. Something to say? Yeah, give me supplies. Okay. Yeah, I, I am doing that. That'll be all then. Yep. Now, what do we need to do? We need to form a hunting party. How do I do that again?
Is that a dog? Can we pet the dog? Yeah, they should add the petting option. Okay, now game is lagging a bit. I think it's just when they're like uh, the it's more of a server thing. So when I think a lot of people are nearby, it lags. Is this the guild area? Okay. Control shriek. Okay, Fury's wings. Uh, behemoth details. Cat soul has found. Uh, she is ready for hunting but Okay. Control shriek. I don't know. Shriek. I think she can answer the shriek options. Oh, we need people to do the strike. Okay, I'll have to find a few people willing to play the game. Okay, lady, Hi, tell me. Player. Hello. Um. Nothing. I thought we. Guys. Uh, okay. See, it lags a bit here, and this lag is, I think, internet related and not performance related. Okay, let's just go up here and see what we have. Okay, I think we have been here, right? And you are my oh, good man. Copper wheel. Yeah, the, we no haven't reached these guys, so we don't really know what to do. Okay, game is definitely lagging a bit. Could be my internet. Because it hasn't been great recently. By recent, I mean a few hours. It's been lagging a bit. I mean, it's quite slow. So, could be something to do with that. Uh, okay, what I'll do is, since it's lagging a bit, I'll stop it here. We saw, we have, a, we had a quick look, surprisingly better than what I was expecting, and I'll try and see if we can find some people to play the game with next time, and hopefully it doesn't lag, and try and see if we can get something big, and figure out some more of the game, and if I can do that, I'll try and make some more videos, because this is like the very early part, and I still have to figure out a lot of things. So I'll try and spend more time, understand the game, unlock all of the stuff here and hang on, what is this? This might be how you get the hunting party, I think. Ah, right. Hard hunt. Okay, I'm doing this without anyone, it seems. Finding hunt. Okay, let's, let's, let's try this out then. I was about to go, but now let's do this. Uh, yeah okay so uh, it depends like if you can find people to play it will work if not you can do this alone okay similar to most other games I guess hopefully with just me it shouldn't lag I guess your hunters begin Sorry, I just need to turn off my AC because I'm freezing. Okay, well at least we'll check out the new sword. They did not give me much armor. Okay, the Shrike is probably big. The Airship hunt is nothing to take lightly. I'll stay on the horn in case you need any timely advice. Okay, yeah, yeah, do that. I've got a second to lose. Pick up the pace. Probably we might be able to sell these plants and stuff. He said pick up the piss. What is that over there? You've almost exhausted your stamina. Take a moment to recover. Sure. Okay. We'll try and not run too much. So running doesn't take your stamina, it seems. It's only the rolling. That hurts. I don't know what this 2% in the corner means. Uh, 
Oh, okay, I see, I see. So running will not consume stamina. Hunting will. Yeah, see, this is the part I don't understand. What is this? I got something. I think this is like a clue, is it? Oh, there it is. Did we really need a clue? Oh, crap. This is not easy. Once again, how do I know I'm doing anything? This is pretty cool, this guy. It's like an owl with a lion or something. Let's go after the drumsticks. me right in the face yeah I need to see if there is a setting that I have missed because how do I know how much damage I'm doing is that 13%? Is that the thing? Okay, time for a drink. Dodge out of the way and oh, this is not good. That hurt, didn't it? How much damage does this thing take? Yeah, I'm going after his butt here. Slash, slash, slash. Obviously, I'm guessing the face would hurt more. But I'm seeing... But at least he'll have difficulty sitting down. Did he run away? Come on, man. Sheath your weapon when sprinting, or you'll drain all your stamina away. Your attacks are having an effect, Slayer. You can tell that Behemoth's taken a beating. Yeah, but where is he gone? Where are you, man? Oh, there he is.
Yeah, this backward flip he does, that's the thing that always gets me. Yeah, I'm going after the pot. Obviously, hunting party would have made this a lot easier. Come on man, die already. Yeah, it's very important to know how much damage we need to do, how much health he has left. Otherwise, how do I know how far we are from the end? getting a bit annoyed now. And this charges my health back. This might be a long fight, it seems. I mean, it's already been a quite a long fight. Yeah. Oh, it's going away again. Okay, let's just charge ourselves. No, we can't charge it. Ah, a bit annoyed, but what can you do? So, I think the way it works is you beat him, then he moves away, then you go after him again, and then you have to do this a few times. But why can't I see the health bar? This zero percent thing in the end, in the side, the top right. What is this? There he is, there he is. We have 20 minutes to get back, at, I think. Okay, this thing is good, this thing is good. So we can always charge us in. Okay, we got a special attack in. We did it, we did it. Finally. S plus rank. Hmm, a bit grindy. But okay, nevertheless, it's still fun. Took little damage, steadfast, never downed. And okay, obviously this was the first. I did take a lot of damage, right? Rate your match. Okay, I have to rate it as well. I would say three simply because I did not see the damage I was doing to the guy so it, it seemed it turned out that we didn't really need a party we could do it alone um, I thought we were going back what is this 
So yeah, okay, I've done two. Obviously, the first one was just a straightforward thing. This one was a bit more grindy. And now on to see what we get after slaying him. Do we get like extra scales that we can use to make armor? Stuff like that. Okay. Quest to turn in for reward. Okay. Uh, where do we turn in the quest? Question mark. Where is the question mark? Oh, there she is. Done. Might make a decent slayer yet. Hope that fight taught you how to deal with the behemoth as a mobile. So after that, I'm making a surprise. Okay. Okay. Stay sharp. This won't wait. Okay. Okay. Keep your footing. Okay, so yeah, we have to go and meet the armor smith, just as I thought. So this guy seems to have a quest. Yep, hold on. How goes the slaying? You know managed that. it just in time. Look what the shriek. I say that based on the talent marks on your armor, but I can I can swear the armor for you something new. Okay. This one's on the house, okay? Thank you. I could think of a few things you could do. Complete one of the following upgrade recruits breastplate, gloves, greaves, mask. Uh, let's do the breastplate. Crafting. Okay, what do we have? What is this? Uh, breastplate, greaves, and uh, no, these are the greaves, these are the gloves. Um, okay, let's. Okay. Yeah, I think we have four, so we'll do everything. Since it's on the house as well. Nice. Or do we work, Slayer? Hundred notes. See you again, real soon. Have we equipped everything? It looks like it. Okay. Let us sure. Wills can always find time for you. <laughs> time to put my weapons to good use. Okay, we can upgrade stuff. Okay. Okay, that's good. So yes, upgrade the sword, please. Should we save this? Because I'm not using the chains and the hammer. Instead of upgrading them, we can save the tokens, I think. Right? I thought we had some tokens. Or is it just specific to the weapon? See, we have two oh, remaining. We haven't even created one. All right, let's just create, have the full set. Now the thing is that we can't upgrade this one anymore, so I think we'll have to upgrade the other two things as well. We'll sweep over them. There, not so difficult. Okay. Keep your guard. Okay, so we have another quest. Okay, I think this is our good time to end this because we have actually done something. We've met the weaponsmith, we've met the armorsmith, we know how to start quests. And she's got another quest which, which we shall do some other time. So okay, we got the basics. Obviously there are a few more things to understand but I just want to know if there is a health bar on the behemoths. That would be like the one thing that would uh, satisfy me. But other than that, uh, I like it. I was uh, surprised. So check it out. I showed you how to install it at the start. Try it out. It's not too big. It's not too demanding on your PC. And it looks fun. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.